Oh, hey. I jacked Hannah's laptop to record this. I just, uh, I'm gonna adjust a little here. It might be a little shaky. Um, so, yeah. I'm sorry I didn't give you any suggestion. That does not make me a dick. Uh, shut up. Allison's here, and the prospective student. She's just as awesome as the last ones, and she's probably going to come here too. Like, she's ahead of the game. She already has a boyfriend at RPI, so it's pretty likely. Uh, her name's Elizabeth. She's pretty awesome. Um, Stephen Milhauser is pretty awesome too. I got to talk to him. That was fun. Uh, was not mindfucked, however. Got to hear about a frog bride. That was just highly entertaining um, and metaphorical. I don't know why. Why do I let her in this room? I don't understand. <laughs> I know. I, re I really should just start locking the door. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I can move on here and it goes the opposite direction. Also, it's called eyesight. Can anyone ever think about that? Really, eyesight. Record with eyesight. Eyesight. I know it's not spelled e y e, but it's eyesight. <laughs> Really, it's well, just... What is the computer but a giant brain? But it's not as smart as me. It thinks it is. It's not as smart but as Apple, me. of course, it's not as smart as you. I know. I'm a PC. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm using a Mac, though. Occasionally, I'm a traitor. Because they have a video pro and have. What are you doing? Oh, it's going to clip, too. Oh. Anyway, I sat there for like a half an hour having Stephen Milhauser sign all of the books. There were eight of them in total. I got one signed for Hannah and two for me and five for the library. <laughs> um, and everyone's like, Hannah, what the fuck are you doing? You're going you're gonna to give him arthritis. So I was like, actually, carpal tunnel, but close. Uh, <laughs> and he came out okay. He goes, I've done book signings in Manhattan. I was like, yeah. Um, he goes, I've had book sellers bring me whole boxes of books to sign. And I have carpal tunnel. I don't know how I develop carpal tunnel and this man does not. He's like 60 and he's tall and lanky and bony. Like if anyone was going to develop arthritis, why did I develop carpal tunnel and he didn't? I just, I don't understand. It's the world. Um, I still have a plot for Nano Remo, but I, Rimo, Rimo, Nano Rimo, wow. but I haven't written any of it down. It'll happen eventually. I'm still farther ahead than you are, which is awesome. Uh, it's true. She doesn't have a plot. <sighs> what? I beat you! Pwned! Um. Oh! 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 So, what I was saying before the camera decided to, like, stop recording was that the Prosby is farther than you. She has, what, 9,500 9, words um, and a plot that involves cannibals. Which is way cooler and way farther than what you have. Um, just so we're clear on this. Right? It's more than both of us combined. She has more words than us. Um, which is just sad. Like, we should be able to have a better combined effort than one person for this. It's just not okay. When I think we were before, we were, like, saying something about fucking and how Allison makes me think about fucking. And I say fuck a lot when I'm around her. Um, eh, eh. It's okay, it's alright. Don't even worry about it. Um, I don't know, I think maybe I was going to say something else about Stephen Milhauser. I don't remember. To wake up really early for a class, which is not okay. No. And if I didn't have to take the prospective student, I wouldn't go. But if I don't show up, Dr. Solomon's going to know. He's going to come find me. He does that periodically. Like, the last time I didn't show up to class, he sent me an email. He's like, are you okay? Yes, Dr. Solomon, I'm not yeah, sick. I just... He came into Wool House and like, knocked on your door or something. No, no. Like, oh. he didn't come into Wool House. He just sent me an email. He's like, are you okay? I was like, yeah, Dr. Solomon, I just slept through your class. He's like, oh. Yes. Yes, that happens sometimes. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I know, especially when you're at 8 o'clock fucking class, Dr. Solomon. You need to fix that. He has one next semester that I'm in. This is not going to end well. If it weren't for him, none of my classes would start before 11. Fucker. You can't fake it that no. anymore. I don't know how I did it in high school. Oh, I'm not sure how I'd do that at 8 o'clock in the morning. I come up with some pretty brilliant ideas at 8 o'clock in the morning. <sighs> 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 
Oh, I usually don't involve bacon because I can't eat it, and it's like really sad. Uh, because I really miss bacon. Just had some chocolate milk though. Chocolate milk's good. I like chocolate milk, mozzarella cheese, also awesome. I don't like bacon flavored things. I don't ever really taste like bacon. Yeah, it just tastes like the smell of like fat. Yeah, and it's just not. It's not as appetizing. I like bacon. I just showed you a picture mm. of, the, of the bacon briefcase at some point. Yeah. I used it in bacon a PowerPoint. Briefcase. This is wonderful. All right. Well, this video is gonna be short. Um, I'm gonna go now. So you'd better be over soon. Like this weekend would be awesome. Oh, well, it's probably not gonna happen. So. <sighs> Bye, sir.